T minus 60 seconds and counting. You know, risk comes to us in many forms, and sometimes death doesn't even bother to wear a mask. And sometimes, if you want to achieve great things, you've just got to accept that dance with death. This is the mighty Saturn V rocket. It weighed about 3,000 tons, almost all of which was fuel. And that fuel had about the same energy density as high explosives. 20 seconds and counting. That is, this beast was a barely controlled 3,000 ton bomb. Let me just throw that into perspective for you. This, on the same scale, is the B-17 Flying Fortress. It was the mainstay heavy bomber of the United States in early World War II. And it could carry about three tons of bombs to a distant target. And about a thousand of these guys could lay waste to a city. A thousand bombers at, say, three tons apiece. That's three thousand tons of explosives. That's about the same energetic content as the Saturn V rocket. T minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. And men, as frail as you or I, ascended all the way to the top of this rocket, which was essentially a 3,000 ton bomb. 12, 11, 10. Enough energy to lay waste to a city. Nine. Ignition sequence start. And fully aware of exactly what they were sitting on. Six. Five. They said. Four. Let's three. This two. One. Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Tower clear. And even with all those insane risks, I would have still changed places with them in a heartbeat for the wonders that they saw.